Prophetic Weekly. What is going on, family? I hope you are having a really good day. Hey, I want to let you know we have a really, really good show for you. We have some powerful prophetic words by some notable apostles and prophets. This is a very exciting season all over the world. Just you're seeing so many prophetic words come to pass that you've seen about the Lord moving, about wealth transfer, about the government. You're seeing so many prophetic words come to pass. So listen to what the prophets are saying. Lean into the prophetic words because the word says God will not do anything before he tells the prophets first. And people say, man, well, how come the prophets didn't prophesy this or that? And there's always a word attached to what happened. People are just looking in the wrong spot. That's why I love doing these these shows. I just know that they're a service to people because people tell me all the time, like, I don't have time to look at all these words, but you kind of condense what people are saying. Uh, Before we jump into it, we just released our newest book, Build, Create, Design. And it is first 10 days. It's the best selling book I've ever had in the first 10 days. And it's to help people move forward. This was the prophetic word that God gave me for 2024. Okay, now let's jump into this word right here. First word we're going to start off with was from Lana Vazer. She said that the Lord was saying that there is an invitation from the Lord coming to worship him with our expectation. Now, I believe in expectation for absolutely everything. Whenever God gives you a prophetic word, you must lean into him with the heart and the mind of expectation, knowing and believing that whatever he prophesied to you, whatever he said to you, whatever the Holy Spirit spoke to you, that very word is going to come to pass, okay? She said, recently I was was sitting um, in the presence of the Lord and when the Lord spoke this to me, that, you know, I want people to worship me with great expectations. At that very moment, I spoke these words. I felt the weight of the Lord's presence so strongly filling my room. And so when the Lord spoke that, she felt the presence. And then I heard the Lord say, Lana, I am inviting my people deeper into the place of worship with me and with their expectations. I'm asking my people, do your expectations, do they bring glory to me? When worshiping me, you know, I tell people in our church all the time, when you walk in the doors at Roar Church, Texarkana, you need to have a great expectation that God is going to come in and bring and present the glory of God with the weighty presence of his glory in a strong way. Signs, wonders, and miracles, salvation, people restored. And so we got to have expectation in everything that we do. She goes on to say, um, in that moment, I could feel the the invitation of the Lord saying, come up higher. I saw so many who had been held down, bogged down, and living under hope deferred. She said that the Lord is calling people higher. He is breaking them with this great expectation from the root of the lies of the enemy. I watched as many have walked season after season of hardship and trial, and, and they're looking forward at this year and there's a heaviness over them but when they walk in expectation that season is going to come to an end we need to have great faith in this season she said i heard the lord say the ascension in expectation comes not from man's strength or striving it comes from beholding the lord it comes from lifting up your eyes and having the eyes fixed upon the Lord. She said, I heard the voice of the Lord say quite strongly, stop looking around you, look up, look up. It is time for people to look up. Then I heard a thundering in my spirit, make room, make room, make room, ascend in your expectations, make room, there's more, there's more, there's more. And she said that uh, there was an atmosphere that surrounded her with a very strong sense of this is a decision time. Are you going to do what God has called you to do? Are you going to move up higher in this season? Or are you going to stay in the very place of complacency? She said that she goes on and, and she saw a word floundering. Just as She just saw a word floundering and that many people were floundering. And that, that you're going to get to make the decision. Do you stay there or are you going to move up higher? She said she's felt the Lord kept saying you have to 
decide are you done with being double-minded or are you going to keep floundering in that? She said, I also heard the, the voice of the Lord continue to say that I'm biting people deeper into the things of, of me. And so God is calling us right now just for us just to, to move in just great abundance with him. Okay, next word is uh, by Sean Boats. He was writing something and then he just said, declare, with, declare this with me. And when I read it, it just resonated in my spirit. He said, guys, please declare this with me. I declare a total restoration for all the years that feel like they were not fruitful or when I made a bad choice. As I, as I turn to you, my provider, I ask that you will restore my life and the time as if it had never been wasted. That is a powerful declaration for people to make right there. Okay? Apostle Ryan Lestrange, um, same thing. I was reading something he wrote, and this stuck out. He said, you know, Potiphar's wife lied on Joseph, and it led to his promotion. Now what? Back up. Potiphar's wife lied on Joseph, and it led to his promotion. See, what we don't understand is when people come against us, when people attack us, when people verbally um, have an assault against us, that's when we get promoted by God. Apostles and prophets know that as good as anybody, okay? And it said, many or, or may every lie that has ever came against you cause increase and in favor to show up on your life in Jesus' name. And I declare that over you. Every lie that somebody said against you, we're going to declare and decree in the name of Jesus that joy and increase is your portion because of that. That's a word right there. That's a word right there. Next word is by Hank Kuhneman. Um, he said this is a season of rest and tension, okay? And she, he said the Lord spoke to him and said, and so it shall be that a season that you are entering into will be a season of rest. And that's good because I've been prophesying that a lot, that, that this is a season. Of rest. And I'm telling you, the last two, three weeks, I've slept like I haven't slept in a long time. Just lay down, go straight to sleep, and just sleep all night through. He said, but I say that I rest my case for the verdict that has been decreed out of the mouth of the Holy One because the elders who have gathered and prayed from the remnant, and now my verdict has come to the earth. And I have come, and I'm clearly saying that the guilty will be charged, the innocent will go free. And he goes on to write that you have to learn to have rest because God has spoke, okay? Now, you may not see the full manifestation of everything yet, but have peace and rest. He goes on to say that, um, so do not speak from your lips that justice will not come, or we have not seen the justice, or you know when is justice going to happen? The Lord is saying, look and behold, for there shall come in the earth a great tension over the next few months. Do not be moved. Um, because I'm moving in this. I will bring my, my justice and my hammer, says the Lord, and, and I will bring the light that will shine to raise up and, and the light that's going to expose where people have done great wrongs and wrong agendas and extreme wickedness. And, and the Lord said, where the innocent has been messed with and where the enemies came at the innocent, I will repay. There will be a recompense. So do not worry Rest, because God is going to make things right. Next word is by Tom Hammonds. He said, an invitation to the land of more than enough. This is such a key, key moment in history and on the earth. God is opening up doors for us to advance in a season like never before. I, I know that the challenges have been great, but the opportunities from God are even greater God wants to bring us through the doors of more than enough. And this includes more of Him. Remember, everything is about your personal relationship with God, okay? More of, a, of Him, a better relationship with Him, more wisdom, knowledge, understanding. That is your portion for 2024. 
okay, more than enough. And, and then it goes on to say that more strength, more love, and we're going to advance like never before. I believe God wants to move us from not enough to just enough to more than enough. We serve a God of increase and a God that is full of fruitfulness. And I believe that so much. I know there will always be times of sacrifice and sowing, um, and, and these are essential and continual. God is saying that now is the time that everything that he's promised is about to come to pass. Now, how many words have we been saying on this show that's already aligning with this? These words are all coming together, okay? Uh, it goes on to say, make room for the prophetic. And he's talking about that this is a season that we've got to open up our heart to prophetic ministry. We've got to make room for the prophetic. We have to make sure that the prophetic is going forth. I know at Roar Church every, every week, uh, my wife is a prophetess, and, and, and every time she gets up on the mic, she'll prophesy, sometimes three, five, sometimes ten minutes just flowing with the prophetic. And it's just like a, just a blanket of the prophetic. <laughs> it's just over the whole house. And we got to make room for it in our churches and ministries. You know, sometimes the Lord will say, hey, just bring everybody up now for healing or bring people up for a miracle or bring people up for um, a refreshing. Or, and just so many times in our service, we just, in the middle of worship, we just go into the things of God. But that's making room for the prophetic in your services, making room for the prophetic um, in your family, in your household, at your business, whatever you're doing. Okay. Tom Hammond goes on to say that it's so significant right now that we're not satisfied with just receiving a blessing from someone releasing a prophetic word, but we have to start operating in, in the prophetic and we have to start moving forward with this. And you know, even in our corporate gatherings, our life, our home, everything that we do, we have to start making place for the prophetic because God is speaking and he wants full reign and the right to come in and speak into people's lives, okay? So Hope Prophetic Weekly helped you today. Um, if you want prayer, go to my website, jojodawson.net. You can go on there and ask for prayer. There's also a place to partner. I want to thank everybody who financially partners with Prophetic Weekly. Uh, sure love you guys and hope you have a blessed day.